Scientists from the University of Queensland have been hard at work trying to figure out if time travel could in fact happen. Absolutely, and they managed to send both Dons through time, so saddle up there, fellow Enterprisians. We're going back in time and messing with the space time continuum. I'm Dave Wapple. And I'm Michael McCrudden. We have the full story and we're going to travel in time ourselves here for you and I.O. Boldly going where no I.O. has gone before. So, first of all, before we get into this video, if you guys could go back in time to any time, what time would it be? Let us know down there in the comments below. The research conducted by a bunch of brilliant Australians is titled Experimental Simulation of Closed Timelike Curves and has been published in the latest Nature Communications issue. Now, scientists managed to observe two photons interacting with each other in two different cases. In the first case, the photon went through a wormhole and actually interacted with its older self, which means it was actually more or less a clone, I think. In the second case, a normal photon, it traveled through normal space and time and then it interacted interacted with another photon trapped inside a closed timeline curve forever. So Dave, I need a little bit of a translation here and first of all, where the hell did they find a wormhole? Yeah, that's pretty confusing. Uh, wormholes? Well, mm, let's get into it. First of all, currently they can produce a wormhole or something that is close to what they think a wormhole would be. Just so you guys know, they have never actually discovered a natural wormhole. They're not even sure if they exist. There are some theories that black holes may act as wormholes and travel us to other parts of the galaxy or universe. But again, we've never been inside one so we can't confirm that. But when they produce a wormhole, what they pretty much have is two points connecting via a magnetic link. And so what happens is a photon will go through that and come out on the other side. I think. However, it's a representation of what they think a wormhole may be. This may not be exactly how it works in the real world if it exists. So at the end of the day, this is a huge accomplishment. We may be able to put small particles actually through time travel. Although it's still a big question, can we put large particles through? Probably not. And then put them back together, that's the toughest part. So yeah, we won't be really Marty McFlying it or enterprising it, slinging around uh, you know, the sun to go back in time. The only thing that we can really do right now is use the power of YouTube to go back in time. Ooh, let's look at our very first video together. Let's take a look. What's up guys, my name's Dave and this is Michael. What's up guys, welcome to IO where we overload you with information. And information overload! Bro! Yeah, uh, that was embarrassing for me. I, I think I still act the same. I don't think I've grown up since then. You haven't changed a day. Nope. For me, I'll be only traveling to the future because I don't want to see any of that ever again. I'm going to stay right in the present. You, yeah, well, the time ain't changing for you. Mm, maybe he's got the wormholes. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, that's all we got for you in this video. My name is Michael McCrudden. And my name is Dave Wobble. And yeah, I just had a chuckle bar. That's why I was like, Ugh. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and again, if this is your first time here on the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out, boom, a bunch of our other videos. Thanks for watching. Keep it real. Keep it classy. Keep it on the flip side out there in the real world. Later.